Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The soap diva is well known for having played Maria in the ITV soap since 2000. Samia Longchampin, a Coronation Street star, has been on our screens for 24 years. She initially appeared on the cobbles as Maria Sutherland, now Windus, in 2000, beating out Girls Aloud's Kimberly Walsh and Hearsay star Suzanne Shaw for the role. The character was initially seen working in her father, Eric's kennels. Tyrone Dobbs and Jack Duckworth brought Tyrone's greyhound, Monica, in to look for a stud to mate with, but Maria and Tyrone were instantly drawn to one another, and the couple began a romance. Maria has had many failed relationships since then, including those with Tyrone, Jason Grimshaw, and Luke Britton. However, there have been devastating sequences in which she delivered a stillborn baby boy, Liam Connor's kid, and Liam was later killed in a hit-and-run organized by Tony Gordon. More recently, the spunky hairstylist-turned-eco-warrior became a Weatherfield counselor, which landed her in hot water, including with an extremist gang that threatened the lives of homeless people over her refugee assistance plans. It also resulted in Alia Nazir saving her life when adolescent Blake attempted to attack her at an event to publicize the Weatherfield refugee drop-in center. But heartbreakingly, Maria has also been confronted with the truth that her son, Liam Connor, is being severely tormented at school and online by newcomer Mason Radcliffe and former buddy Dylan Wilson, with the youngster sliding into such despair that he considered suicide. Samia is all too familiar with bullying. When asked if she had done any research for the tale, the 41-year-old told the Manchester Evening News, To be perfectly honest, I was bullied throughout my youth at various times. I was bullied in both primary and high school, so I can speak from experience. I believe it is vital to talk to others and not bottle things up. As much as individuals are afraid of being snitch, the greater picture is that you need to tell an adult, you need to tell your friends, and you simply need to keep talking. Samia has only taken two absences from Corey since joining, in late 2009 and in 2015 for maternity leave. In 2005, the actress married Matt Smith a property entrepreneur in Sesti Phillips Church in Alderley Edge, Cheshire. Following a seven-month engagement, she gave birth to their daughter, Freya, in October 2009. But less than two years later, Samia and her husband announced that they had mutually decided to end their six-year marriage. Samia later began a romance with her co-star Will Thorpe, who played bad boy Chris Gray on the Salford serial. However, the pair separated in December 2012. Unbidnowns to Samia, Signing up for Dancing on Ice would lead her to a new love. While competing in the ITV skating competition, the soap star fell in love with professional ice skater Sylvain Longchambon. After three years of dating, the couple became engaged and Samia disclosed she was pregnant two months later. Samia gave birth to their first child, Sun Lives, in 2015 and the pair married in 2016 at Delamere Manor in Cuttington, Cheshire. Samia and Sylvian are more in love than ever, with the Corey actress frequently posting selfies with her French spouse as well as family photos with her rarely seen children. Back in October, the adoring mother shared a photo of Freya on her Instagram story that appeared to be taken while she was on vacation, seated on a sun longer. Happy 14th birthday, my beautiful, sassy, strong-minded Freya. Samia wrote alongside a slew of emojis, including a pink heart and a face holding back tears. She then updated the post with a photo of Freya and her younger brother posing for their mother in the garden. Fourteen years ago today my life changed forever. Samia opened up emotionally, and I'll be forever grateful to be Frey's mother. We love you. But Samia has also experienced a sad loss in her life. She earlier opened up about her pain after recounting how she went to call her father, Joseph, despite his death more than 13 years ago. Samia uploaded a snapshot of herself and her father that had been beautifully placed in a photo frame. A funny thing happened. I just thought I'd call my dad. He died over 13 years ago, but every now and then for a split second, I forget, the 40-year-old soap star said with the photograph. And then it's like another hit in the belly to realize I'll never be able to speak to him. She added, I still Samia have previously his spoke with OK Magazine about how she honors her late father's birthday in June and Christmas. She stated in 2020, I always visit the cemetery. 
My father was a huge whiskey fan, so on his birthday in June, we poured a can of whiskey and cola over the soil on his grave so he could drink. We'll probably do it again and lay some lovely flowers. We always toast to him. He may be gone, but he will never be forgotten. Meanwhile, the serial star is candid about her personal anxiety issues and routinely updates her fans when she is having a rough day. Speaking on Loose Women in 2022, the Eccles-born performer confessed that as a child, she was diagnosed with asthma while suffering from debilitating anxiety. Everyone who knows me has always known I'm quite an anxious person, she revealed on the ITV show in August 2021. I'm known for being a bit of a worrier and being very cautious about everything. I've experienced anxiety since I was a child and my mother took me to the doctor, who first diagnosed me with asthma since I couldn't take deep breaths. So they gave me inhalers when I was about 11, thinking I had asthma, but it wasn't, it was anxiousness. The actor has been revealing out about her ITV soap character's background. Tyna O'Brien of Coronation Street has revealed how she couldn't stop crying when filming sequences for the ITV soap, claiming that the budget was blown on. The actress is well known for her role as Weatherfield's Sarah Barlow, Nee Platt. However, Tana did not join until the daughter of matriarch Gail Platt was 12. Sarah was born in 1987 to Gail and Brian Tilsley, and the character was first represented by then-babies Leah King and Lindsay King. Lindsay remained in the role until Sarah turned 12 on screen in 1999, when Tina, then 16, joined the cast. And throughout the years, she has experienced a slew of difficult storylines, including giving birth to her first child, Bethany, at the age of 13 and being kidnapped alongside her family by her psychopathic stepfather Richard Hillman, as well as experiencing child loss when her son Billy died shortly after birth. Tina recently reflected on Sarah's poor romances over the years and remembered the latter anguish for her character. Sarah suffered a sad loss while in a relationship with Todd Grimshaw. Todd had always fancied Sarah from a distance, and in 2003 he became her boyfriend. Everything was going well, and after finishing school, she moved home with Todd, despite her mother Gail's attempts to separate them. Sarah and Todd remained together until he pressured her into getting engaged and pregnant at the age of 16 before admitting he was gay and having an affair with nurse Carl Foster. The tension forced Sarah to go into preterm birth, and their son Billy died three days later. She was so happy with Todd, I think she found her soulmate, Tina said about the on-screen relationship. They lived in this tiny dinky flat, had no money and were completely in love. He loved her in his own way but later realized he had affections for a man, leading him to believe he was gay. He decided to investigate and began a connection behind her back with a man he worked with. She was heartbroken when she found out. She felt deeply humiliated and deceived. She went on to say, I don't think it was necessarily what he did, but the fact that he lied to her when he said he wanted them to have this baby together. Then she lost the baby, which was traumatic for her. It crushed Sarah in so many ways. The life she had hoped for was suddenly gone, and not only that, but it felt like it had all been a lie. Tina, 40, said about filming at the time, The funeral was so heartbreaking to film, I completely broke down, and once the tears started, even when they called cut, I couldn't stop crying. Tony Wood, the show's producer at the time, told me that he blew the budget on the funeral episode by having practically every cast member stand on the street to see the casket pass by. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.